Hi everybody! In this video we want to continue with our sound journey and today we're going to have a look at the diphthong ear. Ear is a double vowel sound that means it's a combination of two individual vowel sounds in this case i and a. Uh. A uh is a very special sound you'll hear more about it in a moment. Now Let's have a look at our vowel chart. Again, you can see the two axes here. If this is all new to you, remember I've got a video on the vowel chart and I'll explain all about it in this video. So make sure you watch that as well. So here are all the sounds that we have in the vowel chart for British English. And let's have a look if we can find I and A uh, because they are the two that we want to have a look at. So to help you a little bit, I've highlighted them here for you. First of all, we've got e a little bit more um, to the top and e, e, this is what it sounds like. E is a near close front unrounded vowel sound. Remember unrounded means that our lips are not rounded when we form the sound e. If you have a look at my lips, e. They are not rounded. And then we have a very special sound. The second one is a. Uh, and that is pretty much in the middle of our vowel chart. And so we call it the mid central vowel sound. And because it is a very special sound, especially in English, it has a name and we call it the schwa. Uh. And if you want to produce the schwa, you just have to relax everything, your cheeks, your tongue, your jaw, and produce a very short sound. Uh, uh. It's very short and um, it is, like I said, the central vowel sound. And now we're going to combine the two by moving from I to A uh in one smooth movement to create a new sound. E, 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 and then say it a little bit faster so it sounds more natural. E, 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 e. And voila, we have a new sound, our diphthong e. And remember, a diphthong is a combination, and so that means it's really now classified as one sound. So this is one new vowel sound and it is a long sound. And remember with diphthongs there's always some movement in the mouth from the tongue usually to go from one to the next. Ear. Ear. Okay, let's have a look at some example words containing this diphthong. So we have for example the words near, here, cheer, idea. All of them contain ear. I hope you've heard it clearly. Um, but as you can see, they are spelled in different ways. So again, we have different spelling patterns for the sound ear. Let's have a look at them. First of all, we have the spelling E-A-R. And in fact, E-A-R is a word in itself, ear, my ear, so ear is a sound already um, and it is a word already in its own right, not just a spelling pattern. But here are some more example words, here, near, clear, dear. And I'm sure you've heard these words before. They're very simple words. You learn them early on in English. And so you will have come across this sound ear in all of these words. Another spelling pattern is E-R-E. -E. Okay, so this is a little bit different. And we have, for example, the words here, where, atmosphere, severe and sincere. Now the first two are fairly simple. Here, where, where is we are in contracted form. I'm sure you've heard them before. I'm sure you've seen them before. 
atmosphere is a little bit longer hopefully you know what that means atmosphere and it's got an ear sound right at the end and the last two words are a little bit tricky we have severe that means that something is very strong or strict or important severe depends a bit on the context and sincere is really truthful um, or authentic and maybe you recognize this word from sincerely when we sign a formal letter sincere so all of these words have ear as well now there is another spelling pattern and that is e-e-r and i'm sure you know some of these words we have for example the word beer beer engineer engineer cheer cheer peer peer and career career all right okay so maybe listen to the words again practice them so you can improve your pronunciation of ear there are a couple of other spelling patterns and here are some more words containing ear with different spellings for example really really idea idea both of them have ea as a spelling pattern and then the last word is serious serious so here the e alone is an ear sound as well now let's test yourself which word does not belong in each group pause the video say the words out loud and identify the word that does not belong Number one, hear, dear, fear, pair, year. Number two, peer, steer, see, cheer, volunteer. Number three, several, atmosphere, sincere, severe. And the answers are, in number one, the word pair has a different sound. This is the diphthong air, not ear. In number two, the word C does not contain any diphthong. It only contains the long vowel sound E. And in number three, the first word was the right answer. Several does not contain the diphthong ear. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below.